What is going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your host with the most and today I'm going to be telling you guys 5 facts about Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered that you probably didn't know. So this is just going to be 5 facts that I'm just going to breeze through, so let's just get right into the first one, which is that it comes with Infinite Warfare, either the Legacy, Digital Legacy, Digital Deluxe, or Legacy Pro Editions. You cannot get it with the base game, you have to get one of the many special editions in order to get Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Second is that it was developed by Raven Software, and Raven Software helped work on games such as Modern Warfare 3, X-Men Origins, Wolverine, and the original Modern Warfare. So it does seem fit to me that they come back and do the remaster, seeing as though they have helped on not only the Modern Warfare remaster, but also Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty Ghost, they've worked on Black Ops 1, they've worked on many Call of Duty games, Advanced Warfare, etc. So it does seem fit to me that they come in to remaster one of the critically acclaimed best Call of Duties of all time. Alrighty, now fact number three is that Activision has absolutely zero plans to sell this game separately from Infinite Warfare. I feel like they're doing this because they have finally realized that people do not want futuristic warfare. And I noticed when I look at the, the video, the trailer for Infinite Warfare, people are complaining in so many dislikes because it's futuristic. But this game was in development before Advanced Warfare was released. There was no way they could have known that they would get this type of backlash from the community from keeping it into the future. So it really isn't their fault. So now they know this game isn't going to sell and so they're selling Modern Warfare Remastered as an apology I see it and that's why it's the only way you can get it is with Infinite Warfare. Number four is that the full campaign plus 10 multiplayer maps will be coming back. I find it weird that they did 10 out of the 20. I would have accepted 16 since there was only one DLC pack for Modern Warfare and it was free and it included four maps so which made the jump from 16 to, to 20. But it's only 10 of the maps so what are these maps? Because everybody loves uh, most of the maps in Modern Warfare so how are they going to choose which maps? Maybe they have some data that says these were the most played maps or etc. I don't know, but we're going to see. Maybe they'll uh, release some of the maps soon because we do have two of them for certain, but we do not have all ten. And the final fact, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fact number five is that Infinite Warfare will have a beta, but Modern Warfare Remastered will not. Now, Charlie Intel put on their Twitter a picture of a code from Target, I believe, and it was saying, scratch here and get your code for Infinite Warfare beta. But it doesn't say anything about a Modern Warfare beta and I'm assuming that they're not going to do it because again they want people to be able to buy Infinite Warfare and just Modern Warfare is just another way to make money because they know many not probably not that many people are going to buy it so maybe they're using this beta not only to test things like they did with Black Ops 3 but also to get people to say hey don't just look at it as a futuristic game and then just instantly just put it down try playing it maybe you'll like it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video about 5 facts for Call of Duty Remastered. Please don't forget to put some respect on that like button if you enjoyed the video. Do not forget to subscribe and may the 4th be with you.